The Trump administration says that it has reached a deal with Oregon to control violent protests in Portland. But President Donald Trump says federal officers will not pull out until the city is safe. He has harsh words for those political leaders and new comments about treatments for COVID-19. White House correspondent Owen Jensen reports. Owen. Tracy, today President Trump went to Texas to do some fundraising. Meanwhile, his administration released a plan to bring calm to Portland. President Donald Trump on Portland's daily violence. These are bad people. These are anarchists. They're agitators. And before leaving the White House this morning, he called out local leaders there. But they're very weak people. They're very weak people. These radicals, these anarchists are controlling the governor and the mayor. And now the Department of Homeland Security says it has agreed to a plan with Oregon to bring the peace, stating in a news release that plan includes a robust presence of Oregon State Police in downtown Portland. The department will maintain our current augmented federal law enforcement personnel in Portland until we are assured that federal properties will no longer be attacked. The governor's response on Twitter, the federal government has agreed to withdraw federal officers from Portland. They have acted as an occupying force and brought violence. Portland's mayor says federal agents were never invited and never wanted. All of us agree here in the city of Portland that their presence here has made things much worse and that escalation is merely leading to more escalation. Our purpose there is only to protect our federal buildings, which we're doing with no problem. Also making headlines, the coronavirus pandemic in the U.S. now close to 150,000 dead. The president remains optimistic a vaccine will be developed along with other treatments. Well, I'm a therapeutic person, too, you know, to be honest. I love the idea of therapeutic, where you go in, you give somebody a transfusion or a shot, and they get better. I am a big therapeutic person. Also, Representative Louis Gohmert of Texas, a Republican, was supposed to go on that trip to Texas with President Trump, but he had to cancel because he tested positive for coronavirus. He is at least the 10th member of Congress known to have tested positive. He is 66 years old. Tracy? White House correspondent Owen Jensen reporting for us tonight. Thank you so much, Owen.